Welcome back to Living Ada Wade. I'm here with artist Brad Tiki Shark Parker. He is known for his tiki art that combines pop surrealism with Hawaiiana. Hello, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks, Jeannie. Thanks for having me. Tell us about your art because uh, you've brought sunglasses with you today, but this is just one type of art you do. You do so many different things. Um, well, I do a lot of stuff that uh, it, it kicks back to Hawaiiana and taking Hawaiiana and kind of modernizing it with pop culture and pop surrealism and even uh, what's been called on the West Coast as uh, lowbrow art or uh, like uh, custom culture art. And uh, what we like to do is walk along with the glasses. And <laughs> we, uh, um, what I've done new recently is uh, I like to get my art out for the masses. I think art is great when it's sold in a you know, really swanky gallery, like I have a show coming up in August in L.A., that's great, but I like art to be out in the masses, and especially out in the souvenir shops, because that's where, um, you know, that's You're where... You're making it affordable for people, you exactly. know? Exactly. People, people can have that piece of art that they, right, that they right. love. Like, if you come to Hawaii and you see some souvenirs that are really spectacular, that are above... They're just above the level that you used to see, like uh, in the 80s and the 70s and the 90s even. I saw the same souvenirs uh, that I saw, I think, were on the shelf since the 40s. So I, I thought I had to kind of like in, uh, imbue some new uh, graphics into them. And that's kind of my mission is to, to uh, bring all the souvenir art uh, culture up to a new level of almost fine art. Mm -hmm. So on, on the sunglasses, on the sides of them, are a lot of my, uh, my my iconic pieces like Tiki Cat and the Sharks and a lot of the Tikis that I've done. And uh, you can find these in practically anywhere. You can't, uh, you know, throw a coconut in Waikiki without finding a store that sells these things. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so we were looking at some video there of your shop too, because your, your home base is in Kona. Right? Yes. Hawaii Island. Kailua Kona. Kailua Kona. Okay. So you do, I mean, you do paintings, you do sculptures, I mean, you do so many different kinds of tiki art. And then what you brought with you today, you were saying the sides of the sunglasses. I love that because, you know, sometimes people leave their sunglasses or you don't know which one is yours. This one, <laughs> what, for one thing, nobody would leave them anywhere because right. they're just you won't forget beautiful. Which is yours. And you don't forget, yeah, you won't forget which one is yours. Um, so you were saying it's, it's pretty easy to find your stuff. I mean, you're, you're at a lot of different shops and stores right around the right, state. Right, yeah, and it's, it's, it's kind of exciting to be able to take my art and push it out into what's called like, you know, the Hawaiian souvenir world because like, what, like this little character here uh, is called uh, Tiki Joe. And uh, last year he was the mascot for the first uh, Tiki Fest of the island of Hawaii. Wow. And uh, he was so successful that he's like, you know, through popular demand, now he's like displaying the sunglasses. He has his own Instagram of Aloha Tiki Joe, and, and you can yeah. follow him online. And uh, it's funny, I just want to like modernize tiki culture and souvenir culture so they can like, you know, combine hands together. Cause, uh, tiki culture is huge on the mainland and around the world, but when it came to Hawaii, a lot of times I saw that it wasn't really like, you know, it wasn't modernized here. It wasn't like, you know, pop culture wasn't really strong here. So, and a lot you of people are changing said, that. You are single handedly changing that. <laughs> a lot of galleries told me, Tiki's dead. No one wants to see Tiki's. Don't scare tourists with any of that. So I'm <laughs> like, well, no, come on. This is fun. Everybody wants to see this. So uh, I'm hopefully going to bring some of the. Uh, some very memorable souvenir culture to the world. All right. Well, you're going to be at an event this weekend. Tell everybody where you'll be. Oh, yeah. I'll be at RIMPAC. And uh, it's not completely open to the public, but it's open to the friends and family of the Navy. Okay. And uh, it's uh, Saturday from uh, 12 to 2. And I'll be there signing stuff. And uh, you can meet me in person and tell me what you think of my crazy art. Great. Um, so you will be at RIMPAC, and then you also mentioned your uh, your gallery in oh, L.A. in August. I have an art show uh, art August show? 3rd in uh, La Luz de Jesus Gallery in L.A. Okay, and then the Tiki Festival in November. Uh, uh, yes. But you're also, you're also these are just some of the places where people can find you online, right? They can uh, oh, buy yeah. your stuff online, tikishark.com. Tikishark.com. Uh, Kona Ocean. Um, Kona Ocean Front Gallery. Okay, .com. perfect. Uh, Tiki oh. Shark Hawaii on Instagram, and of course, Aloha Joe on Instagram. All right, and we'll have all of that information on our website as well. But oh, thank great. you so much for being here. Oh, we thank love your you. stuff. Thank Very you so cool. much.